The Patriot Nurse is an incredibly astute individual. She has a very keen eye. Right after the events in Butler, Pennsylvania, when they were doing all of the reporting, she noticed something that virtually nobody else did. And it actually took a week or two for it to sink in. But she's revealed something about the Secret Service that nobody up to now has reported. And it's going to leave everyone with an incredibly shocking result. Nobody's going to see this coming. He's innocent. Well, not entirely. But there was nothing the Secret Service could have done. What do you say? Florida Marquis, she never said that. Well, something she said got me doing a little bit of research. There was nothing the Secret Service could have done to stop this that would not have been a crime. That's right. If the Secret Service had attempted to stop him based on what they know now, it would have been a crime. He could have sued the pants off of him. You better have proof of that, McKee. Oh, I do. I do. And many other things as well. Battlefield of the mind. You've got to think about things sometimes without coloring it with emotion, which in an event like this, I will admit, is very difficult to do. I'm sure that had it not been President Trump and it had been somebody over on the left, we would have been seeing very, very different reporting, but just as emotional. Now, this weekend, we're going to put up a video that I'm going to warn you, it's going to be NC-17. Most of the stuff over there is kind of R-rated. Um, this one's going to be a rough one, but it needs to be said. Somebody needs to speak up and talk about it. And the reason I do is because nobody else will. If you'd like to join us, the Florida Monkey Patreon channel. It's only one single U.S. dollar. That's it. Per month. And believe it or not, if you sign up for an entire year, it's even less than that. Some are saying, well, you know, what if I spend my dollar and it's really not what you say it is? Check it out for 90 days. Hundreds of videos to go through. If still not for you, 90 days. We will be so close to the election 90 days from now that everything will have been said, everything will have been done, and you have until then to get a refund. No questions asked. God bless all of you. $1 level, $5 level, all the rules apply. Love to have you over there. Now, let's get ready. Florida Marquis, they saw him on the roof, and people were yelling. I don't see a crime being committed. Do you? I don't see a crime being committed. But he was aiming at, he was outside the cordon. He was outside. He was on a building that was not within the area that was, quote unquote, the rally. And even then, it is only a policy of the Secret Service to not allow weapons inside presidential rallies. That's a policy. It's not a law. There's no law on the books in Pennsylvania that makes it illegal to walk around open carrying a weapon. Nothing illegal about it at all. They had no idea what was in his bag, but he had explosives. You would need a search warrant. You would need a search warrant. When he was walking up to that building, open carrying that weapon, he was not committing a crime. And I looked this up. Pennsylvania is an open carry state. He wasn't doing anything wrong. You might have been able to make the allegation that perhaps him climbing up onto the top of the building might have been trespassing. But that's just an infraction. It wasn't a crime. And if they would have opened up, the Secret Service would have opened up on a guy who was just climbing on a roof, exercising his constitutional right to open carry... What do you think would have happened if they would have just opened up and saw a guy on a roof, couldn't prove he was going to do anything? You see, they're talking about all this stuff now they found that he, that he looked for. It is not a crime to search the details of what happened with Kennedy in the book, book repository building. In fact, if that was a crime, then maybe they should the, uh, the makers of Full Metal Jacket should be brought in and questioned. Because if those of you who remember the movie, Full Metal Jacket, they reference it. They reference the details 
of how many shots, from how far, and what got hit, and all that. That was in the movie. That's not a crime. Searching Ethan Crumbly, not a crime. Circumstantial evidence, not a crime. But he had overseas encrypted account. Is that a crime? No, not a crime. Not a crime. His father had dozens and dozens of guns. I think he had 20, I think, actually. At one time, 20 guns, 12 in the home, and legally sold. And here it is. FBI Director Christopher Wray revealed on Wednesday that Thomas Crook's family had more than a dozen firearms in their Pennsylvania home, and that the father, Matthew Crooks, legally sold his son that the weapon that the 20-year-old would use. Legally. So he was legally in possession of the weapon. He was legally carrying the weapon. He wasn't at the rally. He was in a building outside their cordon. And this is where, but Florida Monkey, you said the Patriot Nurse said something. She did. She did. She noticed something. Everybody's focusing on this female agent and her inability to holster her weapon and the fact that she looks kind of like a character from Saturday Night Live. Um, it's Pat, kind of the androgynous look. Everybody's focusing on that. But nobody's focusing on something else. There's nothing they could have done. He hadn't committed a crime. He hadn't committed climbing on the roof. What if it hadn't been a real weapon? What if he was just, it was an unloaded weapon and he was just using the scope to, to get a better look at President Trump and they would have opened up on him? There would have been all sorts of gunners out there saying, he was only exercising his, he had a demolition ranch t-shirt on. That means he was a patriot. He was a patriot. He loved Trump. He just wanted to see Trump. And these evil secret service agents shot him dead for no good reason. That's what she would have gotten. They say they knew he was the threat. They, they misspelled this, by the way. Here. They, they knew he was the threat. Based on what? He hadn't committed any crimes. Hindsight's twenty twenty. Now, what did the Patriot nurse say? Real simple. She noticed something. She noticed something that actually was a crime. Let's listen to her. Three of the women that were there did not complete that satisfactorily. One of them couldn't get her pistol reholstered effectively until she just gave up and went back to a low ready, but at least she didn't directly flag anybody. There's another woman who decided that her low ready was going to be this, flagging everybody in front of her, including the president's car, by the way. Okay, now, you see, there's a crime. Aiming a loaded weapon at somebody is a crime. Aiming a loaded weapon at what looks to be hundreds of innocent people, that is a crime. You see, here's the part you're not going to like. Here's the part that's going to make you mad. Had this happened in Florida, had this happened in Florida, we could have picked the kid up the minute he got out of his van. We could have picked the kid up the minute he got out of his van. Why? Because we have constitutional carry in Florida, but it's not open carry. And we have restricted locations where you may not have a concealed weapon or an open carry weapon or any other kind of weapon. Constitutional carry does not mean open carry effective July 1st in Florida. Had this happened, had Trump been in Florida... Had Trump been in Florida when this happened, it wouldn't have happened. So I don't want to hear it. Once again, thank you, Patriot Nurse, for pointing out something very, very um, specific and very, very detailed that almost everyone has missed. Right up until the point. Right up until the point that he pulled the trigger... He hadn't committed a crime. He hadn't committed a crime, had he? I don't want to hear one more word about Ron DeSantis and Florida being a rhino who takes away your gun rights. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear one more word about it. Because had it been here, in the state of Florida, 
The minute that kid took two steps out of that van with that weapon in his hand, he would have been cuffed and stuffed. So I don't want to hear about, especially in the context of this guy being the new Veep. Keep it up. Keep it up. I'm sure the I'm sure the left now is all sorts of super excited about open carry. Because now their people can just walk right up. Hop on roofs, and as long as there's outside the cordon. As long as they're outside the cordon, there's nothing that can be done. Nothing that can be done. I also don't want to hear anything more about uh, this whole thing with Kamala Harris. This is why Trump is going to get so smoked. You're going to find out what the difference is between a 59-year-old prosecutor and a 78-year-old businessman. Now, I don't like her any more than you do. Let's just be very honest. I don't like her any more than you do. But she's going to smoke him if he brings up this idea of her flip-flopping on this or that or the other. This guy is the king of it. Flip-flopping. Do you do realize he's been a Democrat at two separate times in his life and a Republican at two separate times in his life? And in between there somewhere, he was also in a reform party. So he's changed his mind twice on a great many things. And I think this is hilarious. I think this is the funniest thing. Megyn Kelly. Megyn Kelly is bringing up the topic of a young Kamala Harris. Let's see, how shall I put this? Using the natural gifts that God gave her to advance herself in the world of politics. I think it's hilarious. Now, I can't show what I would love to show about Megyn Kelly here, but I think a lot of you remember her early days in Fox and the um, assets that she brought to bear. Don't think for one minute that President Trump didn't counsel his own daughter. Hey, you're beautiful. Heck, if you weren't my daughter, we'd be dating. That's a quote. That's a quote. You got the assets? Put them out there. Make that money. Make that money. You got it? Flaunt it. She didn't look like this on accident, by the way. And as far as his wife goes, you know, the most classiest first lady ever? The most classiest first lady ever? I don't want to hear it about making your way to the top. Trying to keep it G-rated here. This is, if this was Ron DeSantis and his daughter, if this was any politician and their daughter and their third wife, I don't know that they would ever get a vote anywhere. I mean, you can focus on the, the vaccine all you want. But make no mistake, When the centralized, omnipresent presidential security apparatus comes kicking your door in and seizing whatever they want based on the new federally enhanced election laws, I love acronyms, by the way. I don't want to hear it. Because that's what's going to happen here. There's nothing they could have done. There's nothing they could have done. See, hindsight's twenty twenty. See, aiming a loaded gun. But did they know the gun was loaded? Did they know the gun was loaded? They didn't know the gun was loaded. And he was just basically on a roof, looking through some type of a magnification device at the president. Until he pulled the rounds off, he hadn't committed a crime. Let's review. See, according to the Patriot Nurse, she observed here that even though this woman here couldn't really polster her weapon properly her low ready was a proper low ready aiming at the ground but the other the other woman that she points out here more correctly literally has a low ready that is aimed at the entire crowd now that is a crime aiming a loaded weapon at someone is a crime it's assault assault with intent actually 
But to say they knew he was a threat, based on what? Based on what? That they had a bunch of weapons in the home? Is that a crime? That his father sold him the weapon? Is that a crime? Is having encrypted accounts a crime? Is researching Ethan Crumbly and what he did a crime? Is researching Kennedy a crime? I guess the makers of Full Metal Jacket would have to answer for that, wouldn't they? And once again, but he was walking up with a weapon toward... Not, not, not a crime. Not a crime. Nothing could be done. Nothing could have been done. He hadn't done anything wrong. I mean, at the, at the most, up until this point, at the most, up until this point, maybe trespassing. That would have been it. And believe me, if they would have got this guy, and what if it had been just a kid with a fake fake weapon just trying to get a look at the president, especially wearing a depo- demolition ranch shirt? They shot and killed a patriot. Or what if somebody made up the make-believe story that this kid was actually a patriot trying to protect President Trump from the real shooter? Oh, you didn't think about that, did you? you know, maybe this maybe this kid knew about a plot. And he was going to go be a hero. He was wearing a Demolition Ranch t-shirt. And he was actually there to stop the real shooter. You see, he had flown a drone. Oh, is flying a drone a crime? That's the one. I forgot to bring up that picture. Gosh dang it. Is flying a drone a crime? No. Maybe he knew. Maybe he knew about the plot. And he was going to go there and he was going to save the president. He was going to go save President Trump. Thank you, Patriot Nurse. Very much appreciate it. Very much appreciate it. And to be very honest, it was actually a couple of her followers over in a uh, chat conversation on her most recent live that decided to uh, come after the state of Florida because we don't have open carry. We're not truly a constitutional state because we don't have open carry and Ron DeSantis is a tyrant and blah, blah, all this crap. All this, this bullshit. And I got into it with a couple of her, you know, well, take a breath. Don't want to get my blood pressure up this time of night or I should say this time in the morning. But once again, I didn't let it interfere with paying attention and watching carefully and closely she pointed it out she pointed it out thank you there's an argument over concealed versus constitutional versus open all this crap fine wonderful super fantastic you know what you're gonna get they're not gonna stop they're not gonna stop they say well say we're gonna find all the open carry states We're going to find all the open carry states and we're going to find out when Trump's going to be there. And we'll make sure that they don't do anything. They don't do anything. Anybody can walk right up with a weapon in their hand and until until the point in time that they bring that weapon up in front of them, we can't do anything to stop them. Until they bring that weapon up to their shoulder and aim it, we can't do anything. We can't do anything if they're far enough away. I'm sure a lot of people are mad and red-faced and beating the keyboard right now because they're going to have to now try to make some kind of an excuse or, or some type of an explanation that requires government to get involved and stop people and restrict their gun rights in open carry states. Centralized, omnipresent presidential security apparatus, all now authorized by the new federally enhanced election law so that everything's fair and everything's safe for everybody. I wondered why the left was being so quiet. Now I know. Don't agree with me? Don't agree with me? What solution, and here's my question, I'll leave it here right at 20 minutes, what solution would you have to fixing this problem that would not grant the government more power to get involved in what you search and what you do on your personal time 
and how you behave vis-a-vis -vis your weapons and your political views. What would your solution be that wouldn't give them more power to get involved in that? Love to hear it. Once again, Battlefield of the Mind. God bless. Join us. Patreon, love to have you. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.